Welcome back. If you haven't been here, well, this is a place where I create digital products. I share how I create digital products, the places where I sell digital products, all the stuff that I do with digital products, drop shipping, anything that I can possibly make some extra money because why not, right? So in this video, you will learn how to create a lead magnet using Canva. Canva is the software that I use you do have to have a paid account if you're planning to sell a digital product with Canva, but it's pretty inexpensive. I will drop a link down below. You can check it out for yourself and we can take it from there. But the purpose of the lead magnet is just as simple for you to get your creative juices going. Once you learn how to create one type of digital product, then obviously, as I mentioned in my previous video, which I'm gonna also link here, you can go out there, research the products that work best for you, and just go ahead and get back on Canva and just start creating those products. Just a little bit of a disclaimer here. When you create a digital product, anything that you use inside that digital product, if you're gonna sell it, you need to make sure that you have a commercial license for it. All the samples that I'm gonna share with you from Canva are licensed images and also licensed fonts. Anything else that you bring in into that document, you need to make sure that you have the rights to use it and to resell it. That's why I'm talking to you about commercial license. So later on, you can know, tell me that you designed something and sold something without the authorization of the photographer or the graphic designer that created the font. So disclaimer given, now we're gonna jump in into my computer and we're gonna get started creating a lead magnet so you can see the beginning started to end and how to create it and get the final link so you can sell that product. Just to start with inspiration because I think that's a good start before we get to the template itself. Um, I use for inspiration, I do use Pinterest and I use Etsy. Uh, the way that I do is that I will just kind of pin and create boards obviously if you're familiar with it with designs and colors and things that I like. And then I bring that back into my designs. It's just a good way for me to have a feeling. For example, my last design, I was inspired with um, actually Capri in Italy. And I just like the colors and I just went with it and I started creating a board um, with uh, typography like this one actually and the colors lose the greens and actually created a design based on that which is going to go live in my shop this week but anyways i highly recommend to use pinterest for your inspirations then obviously you want to go to etsy to start looking for what you're going to design right and have an idea of what your market is offering and start kind of putting down an outline of what you're going to be producing and let's see you since we're gonna I'm kind of gonna do a lead magnet it's gonna be kind of weak lead, lead magnet it's not gonna be super 50 pages it's gonna be probably a two page three page because I just want to show you the lay of the land so in here as you can see you got a couple of samples you can click through it just take a quick look and see what people are doing get inspired do not copy anything just get inspired and then take it from there and you can create and I love now how people are using videos which I think it's gonna go into my all my products I'm gonna update with video so note for you just make sure to add video to your to your listings because that will help for your clients in this case Another resource is Paxos. If you have never heard about Paxos, Paxos is actually owned by Canva. They purchased Paxos and all the pictures and videos and everything you see here, it's free for anybody to use. Create a folder for the designs that you're gonna be creating and start piling up pictures of, let's say, coffee and just get inspired and start saving those pictures into a folder and then you take it that back to your design. This is also royalty free and you can use as much as you want. You're gonna find most of these pictures inside Canva already, but obviously if you wanna get yourself organized, it's a good way to get yourself organized by creating folders inside Paxos. Another resource, it's Google Fonts. And here you can research fonts by different categories. If you wanna see how the design will look like, you can just type and you will have a good idea 
All right, so Canva. <laughs> I love Canva. I honestly, it makes my workflow very easily and I am actually a pro user, I'm not an enterprise user, only pro. And that's the way you're gonna be able to create templates once you're done designing. And I will show you at the end how. And other resources from Canva that you can bookmark. I love Canva color wheel. This one, I wish I knew it before I just learned about it. It will do all the hard work for you. <laughs> so you don't have to think about too much. And they have two others as well, which is also you add a color and it will give you a color combination. So you can, you can see all the different color combinations that you can use. When you're designing, this saves you so much time because right away you already know you're gonna be combining colors with it. And then also color palette. Uh, they created this one, I don't know when, but uh, you will notice once you have a pro account, once you drop a picture in there, it will check the colors for that picture. And here they also offer for you to upload your own picture and it will give you the colors related to that photo. And that also makes the designing process easy. So as you can see, so let's just create a design here. I'm gonna do a flyer type of design. All right, so now that you saw this pretty speed up, obviously this is not how I would design normally. I just wanna kind of give you a design, how you use Canva. Um, obviously, you saw this in like a few seconds, just so you can see uh, the design happening. Now that you have the design ready, this is the next step. What are you going to do in order for you to share your design? You're going to create a link like this. You're going to click on share, and then you're going to go in here and share a link to use as a template, and then you're going to copy this link. So now I am personally going to show you what I do for me to share my link with other people. I try to be as professional as possible. So let me click here. I actually just created, redesigned uh, this page today. So I created another page on Canva. See, this looks so much better than the other design, but I created another page, another, um, and as you can see here, I created everything and then I download this as a PDF and then let me open my PDF. I, I create the PDF and then I add a link to it. So I do have a paid account with uh, Adobe. So that allows me to add links to PDFs. I'm sure there is other resources out there that you can add a link to a PDF for free. I just think it looks very professional and I'm able to add extra links like can kind of a quick guide, grab a freebie, which take the client to my website to sign up for a free resource, which is my lead magnet, and also to sign up to my membership site. So as you can see, you don't stop here in creating the design. You go an extra step and then you can create more resources. All right, so you just saw me design. I was gonna say you just finished designing, but anyways, now that you know how to create a digital product, now you're just gonna check the description down below. I have a couple of more links eat for everything that I mentioned here in this video. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like and share the love because we are here all to help each other. And if you have any questions, suggestions, anything you would like for me to share with you, make sure to comment below and I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.